In this video, by using addition and subtraction, we will learn to calculate the age. See, Jeev has come to meet Raju and Bablu. Raju and Bablu are very excited. Raju is telling Jeev that he wished to grow up like him quickly. Then, like all the elder people, he could go anywhere on his own free will and nobody would say anything to him. Jeev tells him that growing up is not such an easy task. But Raju did not listen to him. Then Jeev placed him and Bablu in his flying saucer. And the flying saucer flew away. Raju and Bablu fainted for a while. When they opened their eyes, they saw themselves in the mirror. They could not believe their eyes. Both of them had grown up now. Both of them started dancing happily. When they asked Jeev how this happened, Jeev told them that they have reached year 2049. Now Raju is thinking that he was born in the year 2012. So how old will he be in 2049? Children, can you find an answer to this question? Raju was born in 2012 and now they were in the year 2049. So what do we have to do to find out his age in 2049? It's very easy. Whenever we have to find the future age of a person, how much will it be in a certain year? So we only have to reduce the year of his birth. From the future year. What future year is here? 2049. And in which year Raju was born? 2012. So, what do we have to do now? Yes, we have to subtract 2012 from 2049. Children, do you know the process of doing this subtraction quickly? Since in 2049 and in 2012, 1000 and 100, the numbers 2 and 0 are exactly the same. We can do the subtraction by subtracting 12 from 49. Now, what will we get if we subtract 12 from 49? Absolutely right. 37. So, Raju's age in the year 2049 is 37 years. Raju became very excited knowing that he is now 37 years old. Now, Bablu is thinking that he was born in 2014. So, in which year will he be 37 years old? Children, do you know how we can find the answer to this question? Whenever we are given the age of a person and want to find out in which future year he will be of that age, then we only have to add that age to the year of his birth. In which year Bablu was born? 2014. And what age is given? 37. So what shall we do? Exactly! 37 must be added to 2014. If you add 37 to 2014, how much is that? Right! 
2051. In this way, Bablu will be 37 years in 2051. Now Bablu too started dancing with joy. But when Jeev tells them that since they had grown up now and they will have to do a job and when he explained to them many more responsibilities of growing up Raju and Bablu got nervous. They told Jeev that they were better as kids. Jeev could not help but laughed. Jeev pressed some buttons on his flying saucer and the flying saucer again came to the ground. Once again, Raju and Bablu fainted and came to their senses after a while. Both of them regained their right age as soon as they came to their senses. Both found themselves young again and started dancing. Children, in this video, we learn to calculate age by addition and subtraction. In the next video, we will learn more about it with some interesting examples. Kids, we learned in the previous video to calculate age by addition and subtraction. In this video, we will learn more about it with some interesting examples. Raju and Bablu are helping uncle in cleaning his house. They found such a piece of paper among uncle's files. They asked uncle about that paper. The uncle told them that it is his birth certificate. What is this birth certificate, uncle? Uncle explains to them the birth certificate is issued at the time of every person's birth. Important informations are written on that, such as person's name, date of birth, etc. Children, do you know about birth certificate? Can you tell the date on which the uncle was born by looking at the uncle's birth certificate? Yes! Uncle was born on February 15, 1962. Raju and Bablu also got some old pictures of Uncle. Bablu took a picture of Uncle and saw that in that picture, Uncle was in a school uniform. Bablu asked Uncle, how old was he at that time? Uncle then told him that he was 12 years old then. Children, can you tell? In which year was Uncle 12 years old? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done kids. You have found the right answer. Uncle was born in 1962. And... What should we do to find out in which year he was 12 years old? Yes, we need to add 12 to 1962. In which year was uncle 12 years old? 1974. Now, Raju found another picture of uncle. Here, uncle is seen in his college. The date written in the college picture below is 12th June 1980. Children, can you tell me how old was uncle in that picture? Yes, if we subtract 
1962 from 1980 then we can find the age of uncle in this picture uncle's age in this picture is 18 years now bablu got a picture of uncle's childhood when bablu asked uncle it was revealed that uncle was only 6 months old in this picture children can you tell us in which month this picture was taken in 1962 uncle was born in february this picture was taken 6 months from february so which month comes 6 months from february august so this picture was taken in the month of august in 1962 raju and bablu enjoyed seeing old pictures of uncle uncle told them that if they had some more time he could tell them some stories of his childhood raju and bablu got excited and then uncle told them stories of his childhood kids in this video we learned to calculate age by using addition and subtraction with some interesting examples in the next video we will see some common mistakes related to it in the previous video we learned to calculate age by using addition and subtraction with some interesting examples in this video we will learn more about it and will see some common mistakes related to it all children are deciding together which game they want to play today but everyone has a different opinion someone wants to play cricket someone wants to play football then sher khan said why not decide today in a unique way which game they should play today whosoever is the eldest among them will get to decide which game they all will play together everybody liked sher khan's suggestion one by one they wrote the year of birth and age on a board like this now raju is saying that he is elder than all of them so he will decide which game he wants to play while bunny is saying that his and raju's age should be equal as they both have the same year of birth what do you think children who is right raju or bunny come let's see how raju found his age raju counted his age in this way with his fingers when he was born in 2012 he started counting from 2012 and 2019 in this way raju counted his age as 8 years old children has raju counted his age properly raju has made a mistake he started counting from 
while he should start counting from 2013. But uh, why? Because Raju will be one year old in 2013 and not in 2012. Remember children, whenever you are counting on your fingers, you should start counting from the next year of your birth year. So, how can we find the right age of Raju? In this way, by starting counting from 2013 on fingers, we can find the right age of Raju. So, how old is Raju? 7 years. Now, let's see how Bunny calculated his age. Good, Bunny calculated his age by using the subtraction process in this way. Children, has Bunny done the subtraction correctly? Yes, Bunny has done the subtraction right. Hence, Bunny calculated his age as 7 years which is right. The rest of the children also caught Raju's mistake. And it turned out that Raju and Bunny are exactly of same age. Raju understood his mistake. And now, Raju and Bunny decided to play cricket together. And all children started playing cricket together. Kids, so today, we noticed some common mistakes related to calculating age using addition and subtraction.